Bonjour, je suis Nicolas Giraud et je viens d'un petit village à côté de Lyon et je suis le chef à Silverwood. Yeah, so what we're trying to do is like to upgrade the, the quality of the food. Of what's usually just a, you know, the people have an, an idea of crappy fast food, theme park food, and then that's why I'm here. I try to to upgrade and give a quality, you know, theme park food. You know. Lindy's restaurant is the fine dining of Silverwood, so you can find like salad, pasta, you know, ribs, chicken, uh, and burger, gourmet burger. So that's 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 was our main thing. Try to find the perfect perfect burger. I like the perfect ground beef. And when you're done, you go voila. We do our own research. Our like uh, try find like our own seasoning, our own grind, you know, our own shape, the, the, the weight, you know, the, the fat content and all these things you know, like and, and you need to find something to work all the long all along the chain from, from you know like the way it's gonna be processed, the way it's gonna be cooked, you know, it's gonna go. So it's yeah, it was quite a process but I think we we got there. <laughs> the Caselis Pizzeria so like most of people, they know it as, as the, the theater of my illusion because of the magic show and so on. But that, and you know, it was okay. But you know, like we said, you know, we can probably do do better. You know, so, so we, same thing. You know, we start making research on like how to make the pizza. You know, and I, I used I used to to go to Italy and all that. But you have to think like the taste in in Italy or, or in Europe they are really different to American taste. So you cannot serve the same pizza. So we, then we have to improve like the change the recipe a little bit, twist it a little bit, to, to, to adapt it to American taste. You know, so we figured out a nice recipe, you know, everybody, everybody love it. The first year we were, we were buying 7,000 7, pizza for the, for the whole season. And then the next year, so we started making them from scratch, we were able to lower the cost, we we're going out faster, you know, and better taste, of course, and then we increase of 4,000 pizza. So we went from 7,000 to 11,000, and then we went up to another thousand the next year. So it was was quite an improvement. Mm -hmm. Well, Cinnamon World was another was another project. The same thing, you know. You buy it, and everybody roll it the same way. You know, we put the same stuff in it. You know, we do the so same thing. You want, you want, you, we want our signature product. So now we have to set up the whole the whole operation. So we brought the baker. You know, we, we train her, and so she come every day. You know, and make make everything from scratch every day. You know. Then when, when you open the building and then you have all people come in and they have this fresh smell of cinema, you know, may, maybe at first they just come to take a look and they say, oh, oh it's, it's, that smells pretty good in here, you know, and then they have this, you know, beautiful building and they have the fresh smell of cinema, cinema roll, you know, right out of the oven and, and then, you know, they give them even, you know, oh, maybe, you know, I'm going to sit, have a coffee, have a fresh roll, you know. It's like, and then the coffee, you know, we have some some of the day we roast we roast the coffee right here, so people can have you know fresh, fresh ground brewed coffee, fresh cinnamon roll, and you know, it's like it's a good way to start the day. <laughs> Another thing was bothering me is like the croissant in the tube, so I, I I had to bring home fresh croissant. When you buy a tube croissant, you know you have the croissant. Can, doesn't come out so flaky or so buttery or you know it's kind of it just got the weird taste you know I don't know it's come the, from the butter they use or the, the packaging or it's just like but the texture and because it takes like two to three days to make a croissant you know like the tube you know you open it 20 minutes <laughs> that's not a croissant <laughs> But yeah, you, you have to have fresh croissant, yeah, you know, so. I 
another place which is pretty which big in the park is the ice creamery and it's it's only ice creamery there is no like topping there is nothing just only ice cream but like it's what's what makes us so popular is the amount of ice cream we sell it's just like I think we talk like for one scoop it's close to a pound and then a double scoop is a pound and a pound and a quarter of ice cream is like it's huge you can <laughs> when the kids eat it you can even see his face behind it <laughs> And the ice creamery is not really a place where we try to make money, but like just you know, the owner just like to see like people coming out and with a big smile on their face with a huge amount of ice cream and that's that just that made his day, you know, like that's all that's all he need to see and the goal is just to see people coming out and big smile on the face and that's it, that's that's the day. <laughs> <laughs>